Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Oh, just making a minor little change in things here. This is a little length counter that I bought for checking my spools of filament for my 3D printer, just to see how much, you know, how long of a spool do I have and versus how much do I need for the print that I have to do. Because I buy these spools by the, the pound, basically, you know, this is normally a five pound spool of filament, but they don't tell you how long it is. And the program that I use to design my, my pieces for the printer, it tells you how many millimeters you need to do that print. So I had to come up with something to help me do the math there. So that's why I bought this little counter. But this video is really not about either one of those pieces. It's actually about this little guy right here. This is just a little sizing die I made. I know my printer will take nothing bigger than an eighth inch in diameter. So I just drilled a little eighth inch hole right here. And what I would normally do is just take my, fi my filament, run it through that little hole, and all the way over to my take-up reel that was over here. So what happened the other day was, is I walked by the workbench to get on the motorcycle to go someplace, my jacket got caught on that, and I ripped a hole in my jacket. And I thought, you know what? I'm smarter than that. I can fix this. So this is what I wanted to talk about. So what I want to do is just go ahead and get rid of this little sizing die thing. So this is what I came up with. Just a little plug with an eighth inch hole. And I thought, you know, if I can just get it to fit right inside that inlet to this counter, it'll fit in there nice and snug. It'll help direct the filament right to the center of the wheel. So I came out with my tape measure and just you know measure across here, measure the depth that I need. No, I have to put an eighth inch hole right in the middle of it. Go in on the computer, just design one in CAD real quick, hand it off to the 3D printer. But the problem is that hole is tapered. It's a little bit wider up here than it is in the bottom. That's to normally help guide the rope or wire or whatever that would be going down inside there. But I want this to fit down inside a little bit better. Drop about three quarters of the way in there at least. Let's run back inside real quick and I'll show you how I'm gonna put a little bit of a taper on this and we'll just reprint it and try it again. So all I have to do is come over here and right click and say edit and this little window shows up is the extrusion controls and right here on this panel it says draft angle and I can just decrease it by a couple of degrees and now if you look at it you see it's got a little bit of an angle on, on the sides of it so I can just save it export it <laughs> go out to my slicing program then go to my host program and then run it through the printer That's just perfect. Fits in there just nice. Perfect. So that'll work. You know, solves that little problem. Now I'll just unscrew this, move it down the bench a little bit, unscrew that reel, move it down here a little bit, crunch everything up a little, make it a little more neat, a little tidy. We're good to go. Speaking of going, I'm going to go back to work. You're going to go down there and hit that subscribe button for me. I'll see you next time. Come on, there. <laughs>